Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is grain reinforcement or what is epoxy reinforcement. So it is getting more popular nowadays because of its anti-corrosive nature. And if you are a new visitor, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for getting notifications of our latest videos. So without wasting your time, let's start our video. So what is green reinforcement? Applying an epoxy coating plays a role of electrochemical and a physical barrier and prevents oxygen and chlorides from reaching the steel surface reducing corrosion. It is a very scientific definition so we will discuss in detail. Steel in concrete is usually protected against corrosion by the high pH of the surrounding Portland cement. So cement paste has a minimum pH of 12.5 and steel will not corrode at that pH level. If the pH is lower, that means if pH is 10 or less, corrosion may start. So the corrosion may occur if the moisture, oxygen or chloride ions are present. These chloride ions destroy the protective layer on the steel reinforcement, making it prone to corrosion. The corrosion rust which forms on the reinforcement occupies a greater volume than the steel and exerts destructive stresses on the surrounding concrete. So the epoxy coating are used to isolate the steel from contact with oxygen, moisture and chlorides, thus preventing corrosion. So this is the main mechanism of epoxy coatings on the steel reinforcement. So we can also define this as fusion bonding epoxy coating also known as fusion bond epoxy powder coating are commonly referred to as FBE coating. Okay, these are the different names and it is an epoxy based powder coating that is wisely used to protect concrete reinforcing bars. So these FBE coatings are thermoset polymer coatings. So what is mean by thermoset? So once we do the process, there is no return. That's the meaning of thermoset. So they are set at once. Next we'll discuss process of epoxy bonding. So fusion bonded epoxy coating application process. For epoxy coating, we have essentially five stages. In the stage one, we prepare the surface, surface preparation. Short blast cleaning is the most commonly used method for preparation of steel surfaces. This effectively removes the rust, scale, slats, and make surface rough. So here rough surface is very important for epoxy coating. So the rough surface increases the effective surface area of the steel which increases the bond between epoxy and the reinforcement. Next preheating stage. Heating can be achieved by using several methods but the most commonly used ones are induction heating. Induction heating is the process of heating an electrically conducting object. Usually a metal is electrically heated by electromagnetic induction. Typically application temperature for a FBA that is fusion bonded epoxy is 225 degrees to 245 degrees. The third stage is coating. The steel to be coated is passed through the powder stream on conveyor. The charged powder particles uniformly wrap around the substrate and melts into a liquid form. The molten powder flows into the profile and bonds with the steel. The molten powder will become a solid coating when the gel time is over, which usually occur within few seconds after coating application. So here the powder forms a gel and this gel converts into solid after some time. So next stage is curing. In the curing stage, the coated bars after curing are passed through a water tunnel. The water is sprayed on the bars to cool them. So in the next stage, inspection. Once the bar has passed through the cooling tank, it is tested with a holiday detection device that electrically examines the rebar for minute cracks or pinholes in the coating. If a holiday is detected, the area is marked for easy identification during the touch-up procedure. 
So after the rebar are repaired, they are bundled and readied for shipment. So these are the main stages for application of epoxy coating on the reinforcement. So next advantages of epoxy coating. The coating layer is firm and stable which offers good tenacity and high insulation. Here tenacity means grip. So it gives a good grip and high insulation. The coating layer is corrosion resistant and epoxy coating is a low maintenance cost. Lower life cycle costs over time. Uniform thickness of coating which adds to the quality of production. Acts as an insulator for electrochemical cells and offers barrier protection to the steel which prevents the entry of chloride ions. Excellent adhesion and it forms a lasting bond with the surface of the steel rebars. High mechanical impact strength. So these are the main advantages of epoxy coating and next applications of epoxy coated rebar. So epoxy coated TMT rebars are used in concrete subjected to corrosive conditions. These may include exposure to deceing salts or marine environments etc. So these are so these epoxy coated rebars are used in underground buildings, bridges, pavements, offshore structures, parking structures, marine structures, etc. So this is the basic introduction about epoxy coated rebars and their applications, advantages and the process of making these reinforcement. So I hope you like the video. If you like our video, please give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe our channel and also click the bell icon for getting notifications of our latest videos. Thank you. See you in the next video.